You've come a long way. You must be tired. Welcome to New York. <laughs> And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that, but I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? Well, I must kill. I could've... Nothing more That's than enough. enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? 
You're really gonna sell him out just like that? Girl. I don't give a fuck if I'm the one who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh my gosh, here she come! Are we not surprised, we don't care. Cop if you Did care. Miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <gasps> Ooh! They tag team him. I know I should have killed his brother when I had a chance. I know I should have killed his brother when I had a chance. Take this. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Okay. Should have killed him. I know I should have. I, I know I should have killed him. I I had a feeling. Something told me to kill him. Unleash the dog, Bixby. Bixby. Exactly. Take that. Ooh. Got a dog in him, y'all. What's going on? I should have got on that car. I should have got on that one. Man is so cute, you said Big B playing Frogger? For real. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. He's 
not moving. Keep going! says we told him a little CJ was too nice right the one time I was too nice the one time I'm like no I'm not gonna be mean come on we can't stay here uh, uh, hang on I need a minute okay I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> Crooked man's the one you want. He said, "What is? What did the clothes come from?" Oh, he you saw him on the clothesline. See that? Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Get out of the way now. No. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! Why'd you do it then, huh? What the fuck happened? But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands Off dirty. with the head? The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? I trusted you. You can wait. So you've been. You said I told you. I know. I was just thinking about that too. I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place. It was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be Actual our voice. Place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody. She's the would person from Scary Stories in the Dark. Oh, really? Us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and I don't think I've seen that. It sounds familiar, though. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just. <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Uh -huh. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Uh, Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! No, 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 no! Mm. Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? I'm clowning the girl with the ribbon. Vivian! Shit! Just. Jesus. I'm clowning the girl with the ribbon. It kept 
for a long time with her husband. Fake cat for a long time with her husband. Why she wear? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of too. Oh, just. Uh, just the drama. I just got here with the F. Hey, love to sell. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. You said, how could I rip a hole in that? I don't know. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you I find think it him. is. Is that a stiff ribbon? Like, what is it made Will out of? Fuck him up for me, all right? Uh. For both of us. He's gonna have it worse. Maybe he needs a ribbon for his guts. <laughs> for real. Good. Tied around his waist. By the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? I just spoke up one by one. That's what you wanna do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like her. Quick. Oh, I didn't mean to let him suffer! What? You're just gonna leave me here? I won't be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Fuck you! Well, I thought I was doing right by not doing that. You said hurt him? I wanted to. It's hard not to do the wrong thing in this game. He deserves to suffer. Yeah, honestly. Think about his life. I cannot believe her head fell off when she took off a ribbon. I know, right? I know there was like a story like that. I guess that's where she's from, the story. Of course. So this is where they've been sending these. Big B Wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. It's crazy, y'all. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. They're making silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. Is it not this chick again? Oh no. Oh! It's no. about time you showed up. 
I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Let's go here in the head! Oh, come on! Oh, okay. Is that the best you can do? Yo! This man be hitting everybody! Why did I go that way? She absolutely needs to die. I agree, she does, because she pissing me off. Even when, no, yo, no matter what I press, he still gets nicked. Where are you? Come out and face me. Uh, what is she? She is scary, CJ. I oh, know. Not her having clones. Too many of them, y'all. He literally let that dog out.
Who the heck? Puff and puff, okay. For real. Okay, final form come through. You saw one of these one of those shadow clones? That's what I was thinking about too. Just giving Naruto. He says, ouch, this game is not for me. This game is not for small children. She is scared, CJ. Ew. I know. I'm scared too, y'all. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Hey, yo. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. Someone get this man a Renegon? <laughs> For real. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a different yeah, the whole time gonna gonna blame him for committing war crimes. Yeah. This miserable town. You think he about to get all scotch free? Like he gonna use some mind control? And reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. <laughs> I did tell her that we were gonna go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. Oh, I could have killed him, y'all. And your punishment will follow. Ugh, y'all. That is the right with me. I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. Please, CJ, you know Bixby is probably the executioner. <laughs> Judge, jury, and executioner, uh huh? You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. 
Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say Where for yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Port who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. I already took care of Georgie, so drop what it. What do you mean you took care of I never should have hit that one. Is he still out there? He was behind it. He suffered at the well, end. Where is he? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're I saying? I never should have hit that. I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't. I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. So is Additionally, that all of them? You he says where's the rest of the town? I don't know. I guess I'm just not there. Extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell, you stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. Everyone, just shut up for a minute. Wanted a chance to talk. Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your he body gave order, though? committed exactly. to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it, we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. He's gonna like open up a door, watch. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking I wouldn't call that help. Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. 
You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. <laughs> okay, what KK. I just saw what you she said. She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, oh my gosh. on street corners, I was there to look out for you. What is wrong with these people? Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? I gave her a job. Story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. I should have killed him because when we was at the factory. Her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much, but they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. Oh my gosh. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow made a mistake. Don't tell me to this. want that. I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Clean up the Uno reverse car? For real? We've made some mistakes. I'm gonna need to put my my own out so we can reverse that back but to him. Believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. We're but trying to protect you. I to always have your best interests at heart. We'll do better. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, to, and he uh... would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. While we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town Period. is over. Period. And those girls will have their justice. Yes, queen. Yes, we got the baddies in the crew. He, he is clapping. Very good. Very good. Still stop Such digging yourself into a hole. <laughs> I'm saying it. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. CJ she did it? I think I might. Have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie birds. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Uh... No? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? What about that other girl, Narissa? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. 
Georgie Let killed him. Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like no. What? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Uh, Snow isn't involved. Just let that go. You can't be serious. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. The quality left for a second oh, there. You're right, dear. Crane was in charge. You talk about in the game? Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. He about to piss me Georgie off. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own Where's Narissa? Crimes, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's I not mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your life? You're pissing me off. More? Who was there while they idly played in there? The whole stream was blurry on my end for a minute, but it is good now. Oh, okay. Mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny without me who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction we gonna have to get real jobs who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens who will protect you from the big bad wolf who will be the big B? miss white yeah that's queen you know come through i was waiting for her I I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. Maybe we you can cover... kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Speak up, girl. Speak up. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. He might as well. Uh, some order here. I don't know. He might as well have. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think. Narissa, I my name is Narissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just. He ordered just die spontaneously. This fucker, Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. No, I'll be quiet. You're all rats fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable life. Speak your truth, girl, for real. Speak this up. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. Can you go somewhere? Prison him. Please go back to your crib with your tree. Somewhere he can never hurt. Make another glamour, sis. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. 
We'll use magic. That's I not good you, enough. Maybe there will be has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't blush. Yeah. So we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Let's vote. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. Okay, thank I you, Larissa. Okay. Fine. Right, sis. But, sure and do I gotta do it? I gotta you pick y'all? Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what Real you Crooked think Man kill. <laughs> Yes, sure. Rip his head off, lock him up, Do throw, throw him on down the well. Fucking lesson. No, he has to die. <laughs> I want to kill him so bad. Mm. Okay, y'all. I think I'm gonna throw him. CJ in a good. <laughs> CJ in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. I'm gonna throw him down the witching well. Okay. Wait, does that mean he dies? Do it? I think I'm gonna throw him down a wishing well. Can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Everyone, I'm not this way. Yo, he was like, he was ready. Right here. Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You're going to miss me. No, I won't. You said you let so many characters who didn't deserve to get out. <laughs> but the bad guy, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the book. We had to do what we had to do. I'm sorry. He was too dangerous. I would have ripped his head off. Oh, I wanted to so bad. What does it mean? This choice is blank. Oh my gosh. What if I just don't do anything? I might have to restart the game, I think. Let's restart the game real quick, y'all. I think my stuff was saved, but let's just. No. Bruv, restart. I don't know why this happens in this game for some reason. You said no. Oh my gosh. I think my stuff is saved, y'all. Give me a minute. He says, um, is that why we don't know? Is that why we don't know the Cricket Man story? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know at all. You said, yeah, but then the town's gonna think you're completely nuts. Yeah, probably if you did that. They'd be like, oh, you're just uh, an animal or something like that, you know? I mean, even though he is a wolf, but, you know. She said, you did not just fight somebody. I love for him. Did you just fight somebody I love for a minute? Uh, no, we had to, we arrested the crooked man, but my game was acting up, so I had to, like, reload it. We threw him down the witching well. Crooked man who? The guy who was like in um Oh, you just saying that. I'm about to say the guy who was in who was hey, behind Sheriff. everything. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Imagine it restarted. I would have just been done. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. 
We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <laughs> Mad at me because we threw him down a well. I had to get over it. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. You said he got erased from the story, so Cricket Man who? I mean, yeah, I guess, but like... Wait, did I mess up by throwing him down the well? But I thought that meant like, you know, like his story is erased, but he's like, we know what happened, if that makes sense. Who did I mess up? She turned on you so fast? I know. Jesus. We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit. Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've you said Clementine? And, and is that the same voice as Clementine too? Sometimes. I know Beauty is. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby. You said so all poor TJ. All oh, that's Isn't Duck? Oh. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Goes to Google it. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? But he mad. He's like, what the heck can pig at? Don't know. Don't care. Saying goodbye. Hi. Hi. Yes, they have the same voice actor. Who, Doug or Clem? Oh. Yeah. For the frog. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. 
You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. I don't know. I don't want to say no. you still like your friends. Could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised oh, Clem? he'd smooth oh, the okay. crooked man. But then, oh God. <laughs> I was trying to help, Doug. My bad. I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us... This says, oop, it was the snow. <laughs> the crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. To be honest, I hate While Snow. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. No. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but... <laughs> okay, he got through it. None of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. The stuff she's given about Snow and Bigsby as a whole. Oh, okay. I see. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Doctor Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around.
So what did you do to Georgie? You and 31.4% of players left Georgie to die. So a lot of people killed him. It says, did you give the Crooked Man a trial? You and 89.6% of players brought the Crooked Man back alive. A lot of people, some people didn't, but a lot, but most of us did. How did you punish the Crooked Man? You and 38.6% of players threw him down the witching well, the witching well. So what did everybody else do? I guess locked him up or killed him. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? Also, 98.5% of players accepted it. And it says, what were your last words to Nerissa? You and 54.8% of players. I hope I've done some good here. All right, that was, that was the majority, I think. All right. Well, we gotta go ask her about that ribbon thing. Well, the game over with now, but you know what I'm saying? I guess we have to wait for part two. That's coming out next year, I believe. OMG, is that Faith? He says, are they the same person? I was thinking that too, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think... Not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't know. Beast, you lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment? Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast you saw her outside the apartment. Uh, Bluebeard, you tr you used similar interrogation tactics. Um, Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. The Crooked Man, you let you took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Georgie, you left him to die. You smashed up his place. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. You drank grin. You drink with grin after Lenny's. Lenny's <laughs> Lily's funeral. Uh, you went interrupted her sister's funeral. You pretended to be a woodsman while she was passed out. You brought her along with you to the thirst trap. I mean, I'm sorry to the <laughs> to the trip trap, not the thirst trap. Um, you promised to bring the crooked man back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. You slapped him during the interrogation in his apartment. Yeah, we did do that, huh? You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. But he ended up going anyway, so I don't really know if that that counted. Um, you chose to arrest him at the Trip Trap Bar. Okay, I think... That kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> that kind of got me, y'all. Well, I think that's everything, y'all. Ooh, there's comic book. Oh, wait. Oh, there are books! There's graphic novels. Okay. I did not know that, y'all. Maybe I'll have to read one of these one day. Pick up a graphic novel today. Hmm. Okay. That works. I guess that's everything. Now, what are these extra? Book of Fables, Player Choices, Achievements. Oh, well, I could just check that on Steam. We don't gotta look at that's a hold on, y'all. That's a whole lot of achievements. I got most of them, but I didn't get all of them. Okay, I kinda wonder what some of these are. Alright, I'll figure it out later. That's cool though. Okay. Um Book of Fables? What's this? I guess this is like character, like, oh, information on like all the characters. I'm missing some of them. Wow. So I guess I gotta replay it and do maybe if I do like different outcomes and stuff. Interesting. So we have like character bios. That's really cool, y'all. Hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> Um, you said OMG is that Faith? You says, are they the same person? I was thinking that I was like, are they the same person? Is she doing like some kind of magic or a glamour or something? I don't know. But I guess we'll find out in the second game. I'm glad there's a second game coming out and I'm glad I played this game. I don't want to say right before the second one came out, but like around the, you know, like not af not far after. Because this game came out in I think 2013, I want to say, at least the first chapter did. So that was years, that was like over 10 years ago. So it's kind of cool that we played the game when we did. And I guess we'll play the second one when it comes out next year. Um, I'm excited. I, we'll probably have to wait for like each part to come out, but I'm excited nonetheless, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna definitely play that in the future. Okay, we're gonna definitely do that. He says it went 2024. Yep, next year's coming out. So like 11 years after the other game came out. He said, "Let's go." Yeah, we're gonna play it when it come out next year. Definitely, y'all. That's gonna be on my list. But I guess I'll go, y'all. It's 10:57, so it's about time for me to go anyway. But I appreciate y'all coming coming through for all the parts and stuff and hanging out. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. I'm gonna have to probably edit some stuff out because I saw some uh some chest <laughs> some 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 new chest hanging out. So I'm gonna probably have to edit some stuff out. But yeah, it'll be up on YouTube soon ish. I might have to upload it in separate parts. I don't know. I'll see. But. I'll be live tomorrow, y'all. We'll play some Sims 3 Leprosy tomorrow because I want to get back to my family. And yeah, it'll be fun. So I'll see y'all tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time before I go. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go. YouTube channel. 
is my YouTube channel. Here is the Discord server, and there is the VOD channel. Um, good night, Yen. Um, good night, Beep. Good night, KK. Good night, Nessa. Good night, Golden Diamond. I'll see y'all tomorrow, y'all. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go ahead and start up a raid. Why don't we raid? Mm, let's raid, um... Let's rate Rimage. It's Rimage, and I called him Rimage this whole entire time, y'all, and I did not know. But Rimage, we're going to go and raid him. So be sure to give him a follow. Tell him I said hello, y'all. Thank y'all for coming through. I had fun. We'll play another story game soon. What one do y'all think I should play next? Because I think we played a lot of them at this point. <laughs> a lot of the most well-known ones, anyway. So we'll have to find another one to play. But we'll talk about that. I guess tomorrow, I guess, or whenever. But good night, uh, Bly. Thanks for coming through. But thank y'all for coming through, y'all. Thank y'all for the bits, the subs, Channel Point Redemptions for hanging out with me. If you just want to just check this out again, it'll be up on the VOD channel. So be sure to check that out as well. I won't be here tomorrow. Um, don't do anything exciting. Okay, well, I'll try not to. But you know how my game be, Blythe. We'll see. But <laughs> I'll see you next time then, Blythe. All right, y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching, y'all. Please be safe. Bye.